I think Aerodrome is a hidden gem, and I believe that its native token called Aero could hypothetically go to the price of $20 during this bull run. You know, my price target isn't changing. And of course, nothing I say is financial advice nor guarantee. But oftentimes, when people think about a decentralized exchange, they think about Uniswap, they think about PancakeSwap, and of course, some others. But, you know, these are what usually people focus on. And they say that, yeah, this is the best. It's the greatest. But in my opinion, there's something better. And that's something called Aerodrome, because I think it's one of the best decentralized exchanges out there. First of all, it's on the right place. You know, it's on the base network. And the special thing about the base network is that the way I view it is that it won't fail. Now, some people out there, they may think it's crazy. What are you talking about? Of course, things can fail. Now, maybe, but I think this is very difficult because you got to think about how when it comes to the base network, it's Coinbase's layer two network. So do you really think that Coinbase is going to allow something like the base network to fail? I mean, come on. They won't do that. It would be a bad look. It would be embarrassing and it'd be completely atrocious. So they wouldn't do that, right? Again, you know, other networks out there, yeah, sure. You know, if they fail, the team can't really do anything about it. They're like, okay, all right. But when it comes to Coinbase, they can actually do something about it. They have a lot of resources and they have a lot of experience. So I don't think the base network is going to go bad anytime soon. Let's not forget, again, it's a layer two network and it's built in collaboration with optimism. Now, if I say optimism, some people who may know, they may think, whoa, that's crazy because optimism is one of the leading Ethereum layer two scaling solutions out there. So just keep that in mind, right? You got to take into consideration how the base network, it has some real deal players behind it. So if there's a decentralized exchange on the base network, a network that the way I view it quite essentially won't fail. I mean, come on, this is a no brainer pick for me. Now, the use case of a layer two is, for instance, allowing Ethereum to be enjoyed while at the same time not having to deal with a lot of the nonsense like sky high gas fees and arguable scalability issues. So yeah, use case isn't bad, backed by the right players, so to speak, and having a project as amazing as Aerodrome on it, that's game set match right there. If the project was Kaka, but it's on the base network, you know, it'd still be okay. But a great project on a great network, that's a recipe for success, in my opinion. And let's not forget, the decentralized finance market has a lot of potential, which of course a decentralized exchange does fall under the category of that. As a matter of fact, the DeFi market, aka decentralized finance market, predicted to be worth over $200 billion by 2030. So as I begin to say all of this, doesn't Aerodrome tick all the boxes? Focus on the right market, again, on the right network, amazing fundamentals. Man, why is Aero at the price of $20 crazy? I don't think it's crazy at all. You know, if it were to go to that price, considering current circulating supply, market cap would be around $12 billion. Not insane. We've seen, for instance, Uni, the native token of Uniswap, reach around $22.5 billion in market cap. And this was back in 2021, by the way, at a time where there was far less institutional investors, at a time where there was far less crypto owners. And that's a verifiable fact because you take a look at Back in 2021, during the peak of that bull run, there was roughly only around 300 million crypto owners. Now, according to Crypto.com research, there's over 600 million. So even though as of right now, there's more projects, so more competition, but the increased amount of crypto owners, man, I think the amount of hype and FOMO could really dwarf what we saw, you know, a couple of years ago, back in 2021. If Uni, you know, back then, right, could reach around 22 and a half billion, I think Aero this time around with this many bullish factors around a $12 billion market cap, it's not crazy. You know, it's not something unheard of, in my opinion. At least that's the way I take a look at it. And a lot of people out there, they're impatient because they're like, oh yeah, price action, it's caca, it's trash. I think patience is key because I think we can learn a lot from history. Now, I've studied history, at least when it comes to this, because usually old coins, they do peak anywhere between six to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. Now, the last Bitcoin halving event happened back in April, so that's based off of history, altcoins, they're going to potentially peak either October this year to October next year. Not so bad. You know, it's not really that long anyways. Let's say it's a worst case scenario, October next year. That's a little bit over a year from right now. It's like, that's not bad at all. I mean, if anything, it's more time for me to accumulate. Some people like to view it as a bad thing, but I don't. I'm staying very simple, though, when it comes to my acquisition strategy, and that's dollar cost averaging, acquiring, holding, just waiting. That's it. No day trading, no using leverage, any time and income, just accumulating and just waiting and just looking to see what's ahead because I don't care what happens to the price in the next two minutes, two hours, 
I'm focused on the peak of the bull run. Around a year from right now, things could look so different. All I got to do right now is just stay patient. And I'm still believing in Aerodrome because Aero at the price of $20 during this bull run wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Moli the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm all peace. Bye.